Hey everybody, who wants to talk about their bottom line? I think it's the most appropriate time to do so as mm -hmm. we're heading ever so closer to the holidays. We need to keep an eye on our spending. So we have an expert here to kind of give us some counseling this morning. And that is Mike Jenkins, uh, our bankruptcy attorney. Thank you, sir, for being here and kind of giving us some good advice uh, to keep an eye on what we're doing with our spending. Well, today we're going to talk about a couple of requirements that people have to go through when they take a bankruptcy. And one of the requirements is before you file and one's after you file. Okay. And if you don't do either one of these, your filing can get tossed out. Mm. Oh. So they're kind of important. important. <laughs> so so when, we, when we file, if we no don't exceptions. do it appropriately, it, it could just be thrown out and we're out of luck. That's right. Okay. That's very important. Okay. So you might have wasted a little bit of money if uh, you don't do things right. Exactly. Money which you and don't some have time. To ha which you don't have. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's talk about, so you said before and after, kind of, pre and post. So let's talk about pre. What so are we talking? So before you can file your bankruptcy, you have to participate in a little exercise called pre-bankruptcy uh, credit counseling. Okay. Um, my viewpoint of it is it's sort of a waste of time, but it's a requirement. So it, it is required. It's required, okay. so it doesn't really matter what I think. <laughs> um, so what this is, is a person has to participate um, in this counseling. There's literally hundreds of places it can be done. Okay. Um, it can be done on the internet. Uh, it can be done locally. Um, so. When you do this counseling, uh, when you completed a certificate issued saying you completed this exercise, and that ultimately gets filed with the court. Uh, when you do this, it has to uh, have been done within 180 days of you filing bankruptcy. So for people that are looking up information about bankruptcy on their own and go, oh, we gotta do this thing, don't just go do this thing and then go see a lawyer later on. Right. Because again, it takes time to go through this process, prepare things, and if somebody figures, oh, I'll get this out of the way, and then four months later they go see an attorney finally to file their bankruptcy, and then it takes them a few months to save up the money to do the bankruptcy, uh, voila, 180 expired. days has gone by and it's expired. It's expired. <laughs> and so, so can you they do have it to, again? They have to do it again. You have to do it again. Okay. And it's not the end of the world, it's just a pain. Is kind it a long, pain. What, what type of a process is kind of completing this? So, okay, so you can do this online thing or you can do, if you aren't real adept at doing things online, um, we have clients that don't really do things on the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, we have clients that are young that don't really do things on tablets, computers, or laptops, they just do it on their phone. Well, phones aren't really conducive to doing this. Right. So uh, those folks we will refer to Consumer Credit of Des Moines, and they can do it by telephone call or in person. And there's uh, different costs to doing this process. Okay. So the online one, and one of the reasons we use it quite a bit is because the company we use charge is $24. Okay. So if you're a single person, it's 24. If you're a husband and wife doing it together in one session, it's $24. So that's pretty cheap. And there's a lot of them that are really cheap. So at consumer credit, uh, it's a little bit more costly. Um, so uh, as my understanding, if you're a single person, it's $50. If you're a husband and wife doing it together, it's $85. Um, frankly, it's, it's a little easier getting it done at consumer credit, in my opinion. So I guess That's if it was me there. and you don't want to go spend a little extra money, I uh, didn't mind, um, I'd do it there. But online, you got to do, uh, they have you do some reading and uh, through a bunch of material. And then they ask you to uh, provide certain information about what your debts are, what your income is each month, your living costs. And in, uh, on the particular company we use, they'll ask you to put some values that you think on some of your important assets. And then to conclude the counseling session, you have to have a review and they give you a couple different options for doing that. Uh, one is, I believe, sort of an exchanging of emails. Or, uh, so they'll do an assessment, you may have to reply back, or you can do it by telephone. So uh, that's the pre-filing bankruptcy credit counseling. Uh, and, and, and what's the ultimate goal? Are they trying to talk you out of filing for bankruptcy? Are they trying to get you on track and, and budget-wise? Or are they saying this is what you're about to get into and here's everything lined up for you? Well, like, what's I'm the ultimate goal of the pre <laughs> As a practical matter, I don't know that there's any goal other than the fact you're supposed to do it. Uh, Congress, when they came up with this thought, uh, didn't feel that people were being um, alerted as to um, 
the appropriate options that might be available for them. Okay. Um, but I don't really think anyone that actually is involved in the bankruptcy process thinks this is a very valuable thing to do. Matter of fact, there's been a big commission uh, that was created uh, recently uh, where they have made recommendations on what things should be changed in the bankruptcy law. And number one on the list is getting rid of this thing. Okay. Because it's an unnecessary cost that people are having to spend money on. When they're and, already struggling. And they don't really find payments. that it's pr provided a very valuable uh, thing to do. Okay. So it's required for now and until it changes you just have to do it. Um, now there can be a waiver of the fee if uh, I believe if you're within 150 percent of the poverty guidelines okay. you can get a, uh, a fee waived and they'll do it for free. So that's kind of nice. And when do you recommend doing this? After you've contacted an attorney? After you contact an attorney because actually when uh, people come to see me even I tell them don't even do this uh, bankruptcy credit counseling until you've got all your money saved up and all your completed paperwork ready to bring in to me, then do it a then day or two it. before. Okay. Uh, that way the clock's not ticking on the certificate. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so that's the first required uh, element that you have to do, pre. otherwise it's going to be thrown out. Let's talk a little, uh, uh, or I guess this is also pre, but pre-discharge right. that we need to talk about. And just stepping back a second, so if you file your bankruptcy case and uh, you didn't have a certificate or it was outdated, it's like dead on arrival. It gets dismissed by the court like the next day. Oh, wow. So, uh, so it does matter. It does matter. Right now, it, it does, does matter. matter. Okay. Don't do it on your own. Do it with your And the filing fee is $335 in the bankruptcy court. So that's a lot of money to waste wait, if you wait. have to do it again. Absolutely. Okay. Let's talk pre-discharge. Okay. So before your case can conclude, and we've talked about it many times, the conclusion is called your discharge. Everything's gone through like it should. Right. You have to participate in a bankruptcy class. Um, I personally think that this does have value. Okay. And um, so it's a two-hour class. Uh, it's, for all I know, internet only. I'm not aware of anywhere locally that has the class uh, in person. Okay. Uh, early on when the law changed, there were some local uh, places to do the class, but those uh, were short-lived, unfortunately. And uh, so I'm only aware of online classes, but everybody seems to get through it regardless of age, regardless of experience on the computer. They've got children, relatives, friends, people that can help them. Right. And so what you end up doing is um, you go to a website. And so we use a company called Solid Start Financial. They're kind of a sister company to the credit counseling company that we use, which is called Cricket. And their website's cricketdebt.com. So uh, they kind of go hand in hand. And um, in the class, uh, it's a two-hour deal, and they have you read a book while, while you're online about how to do things like manage your money better in the future, how to avoid financial risks, and topics uh, of that nature so that people can improve themselves going forward and not necessarily make the same types of mistakes uh, that got them to where they were or just gives them more things to think about uh, when they deal with their finances. So maybe they look at it in a different way than they used to and uh, not end up in another bankruptcy years later uh, because they didn't learn anything from the first process. So it is a little bit of a, more of an education. Yeah. It, with is, this it one. is definitely an educational thing. I've gotten feedback from my clients and said that, yeah, we, know, we learned a few things from doing this, so we thought it was worthwhile. So I figure if my clients are telling me it's worthwhile, it probably is. Right. I haven't personally reviewed the stuff on the materials. I have seen the credit counseling session, but not the class. Uh, someday I will kind of take a run through the class just to see how it is. But um, it's relatively inexpensive. Again, a husband and wife can sit at the computer and do it together so they don't have to each pay for a class to be done. Okay. So uh, at the Solid Start Financial, it's only $20. So it's, uh, it's about the cheapest class anybody's going to ever take in anything. Right. But and it's going to help required. you in the future. It's required, so we require our clients to have that class done before they ever go to their creditors meeting, which is the proceeding that they attend for their bankruptcy about a month after the filing, because we don't want them risking that they let it go. Mm -hmm. And so we are very insistent that it be done. Actually, we tell them we want it done within 10 days of filing the case. Okay. That way it's out of the way. Okay. Because if your case comes to discharge, and you haven't done the class, well, the case closes, and you don't get a discharge. 
and it could be a couple of years later and you find out, hey, I went to get a loan and I didn't get my discharge. They said I can't get a loan and you get called up. Uh, well, it's never happened to a single one of my clients, but I know what occurs. Yeah. You have to reopen the bankruptcy case. That's $260 filing fee. You have to file a special request with the court to get the case reopened. You still have to go do the class and pay the costs. And then when you file your certificate saying you did it, then your discharge will be granted. So the court sends out a warning uh, about 45 days prior to your discharge date. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done it, it says you better get the class get done. done. You got 45 days left. Otherwise, your case is going to close and you're not going to get a discharge. So you had spent a lot of money to get rid of your debts and done a lot of paperwork. And at the end, you'll have accomplished nothing. And uh, so it's a, a very important thing to do. And uh, I don't know what other attorney situations are, but I've never had a client not have their class done. We've come close. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the key thing here, too, is to involve your counsel well, in keep this them up, yeah. to make sure that, you know, you think you're maybe doing a good thing, but I'm going to get this done and out of the way, but timing matters and you do it with. And we stay on them. My, my secretary kind of keeps a list of who's yeah. getting it done. And so we do kind of stay on them if they haven't gotten it done, saying better get done. And they usually do. Okay, uh, requirements that you need to know that are all part of the bankruptcy process as we're kind of thinking of our finances around the holiday season. Uh, Mike, if people want to get in touch with you, how can they do so to get that conversation started? You can give us a call at 255-1855. We're happy to answer your questions. Uh, you can find us on the internet at www.iowa-bankruptcylaw.com or you can follow us on Facebook. There you go. All right. Good Things you need to know. Yes. Yeah, so when it comes to your bottom line, there's a